Home base folks, it's Michelle Hill with Southern Inspirations. And you read right, I am broadcasting live from my laundry room. Yeah, I went and told my husband, don't come in the laundry room for a few minutes. And he said, okay, the laundry room? <laughs> and I said, that's right, don't come in the laundry room for a few minutes. I didn't want him busting in while I was doing this important show. Hey Lauren, sweet friend, thank you for watching. So y'all, if you have followed me at all, or if you just know me, you know that I just keep it real. And while home base is going to be about decorating and design and all those fun things, it's also about everyday life. And y'all, laundry is everyday life. And as I stand here in my dream laundry room, hey, Ashley, thank you so much for joining. I've seen you online a couple times today, and um, I know I need to connect with you. Hey, Nelda, good evening. Um, thank you so much for joining me in my laundry room. So I am so curious to know from y'all, and please comment and let me know this. Hey, Yvette, hey, hope you're doing well. Um, I have missed you the couple times I've come through the drive-thru. We ask for you every single time. Y'all, Yvette owns uh, Mr. Poncho's here in Mom Hill, great Mexican food. Um, but raise your hand, i.e. put in the comments, do you fold your towels like your mother taught you? Because I do. <laughs> I always fold them the same way, and it's how she taught me to fold them. And it's real interesting, and again, tell me in the comments, when you got married, did your husband fold them a different way <laughs> from you? I have um, a large basket over here that I'm folding, and just as I was, um, hey, Miss, uh, <laughs> raising those hands, um, as I was folding them and separating them out, I thought, you know, this would make such a fun live, so here I am. Well, not only, hey, April, thank you so much for joining. We're talking about laundry, April, and folding towels. That is like hashtag keeping it real at the home base, the Hill Casa. Um, so, put in the comments, do you fold your towels like your mom taught you? I fold them how I knew it, I knew it. And then, y'all, do you stack them out according, and I'm going to try to... Um, Move this camera where y'all can see my little stacks. Do you stack them out according to whether it's a bath towel, a hand towel, a washcloth? There's my daughter watching. She shook her head at me too when I said, I, she had some stuff hanging up and I'm gonna show y'all my fabulous little, I've got two different rods in here and she had a bunch of stuff hanging up and I took it to her and she said, no, cause she's already got a bunch of stuff to put up. And uh, I said, well, I'm about to do a live from the laundry room and she just kind of, she was like, what? I said, yes, it's for home base. Laundry is for sure home base. Um, so I've got, I haven't done a whole lot. Y'all can probably see my basket over there. But I have my separate little stacks going. I know the ones, let me see here, April. I'm not sure how my mom does. I do both ways, flat and triple. I used to make fun, how particular you are. Yeah, I know, you can't help it. So I separate, we have three uh, bathrooms in our home. We have the master, the guest, and then Hannah's. And I know which towels go in which ones. And then of course I have in this laundry room, y'all I know this is ridiculous. I said I have my dream laundry room, but I have three drawers for cleaning rags or coal washing rags. Hey Stephanie, I saw your comments from earlier, um, new friend. Thank you so much for commenting on this group. So anyway, the, um, as particular as I am with the folding and sacking, I will tell y'all I'm not particular like that when it comes to my cleaning rags. I just chunk them in the drawer. So yeah, let me see if I can show you those three drawers. Yeah, see, they are literally just like thrown in there, um, which is kind of crazy. But I wanted to show y'all my laundry room. Um, because I really do finally have everything I want in a laundry room, and it has not always been that way. I can think of so many times 
um, in my life when I have had less than the ideal laundry room. And for us ladies, that is important. So if you are going to remodel your laundry room or if you are building a house and you want to make the laundry room of your dreams or like draw it out, I'll just show you some things that I have done. First of all, I have plenty of cabinet space. And y'all know what's wild about that? Um, I've used it for things like my crafts, my paint, my chalk paint, um, just crafts like glue and, hey Paige, good to see you. Um, so I have cabinets for days in here. Now when we first moved in, I wasn't utilizing every single space. But as I have settled into this house, and we've been here just over a year now, I will confess I have probably reorganized, Paige, you like that word, right? <laughs> reorganized this laundry room half a dozen times to get it exactly kind of where it flows well and for what makes sense to be in here. And y'all, here is something wild for you. You really will not believe this until you see it. And if you've been to my house, you have seen it. My laundry room is in the middle of the house. Like, what? My, our floor plan, we designed it in such a way, we just wanted it in a, in a very particular way. And it just kind of turned out that the laundry room ended up in the middle of everything. Initially, I wanted it kind of off my master. That's very popular right now. Um, with the new houses is having that laundry room just right off to your master, right off of your closet. And initially I had drawn it into the plans like that, but I wanted so many things in this house that it just didn't work out like that. Well, now that it's kind of in the middle of the house, um, it's close to the garage. It's where if you're coming in with, you know, really dirty stuff, if we've been out in the yard or mud, you don't have far to go from the laundry room. It is close to the kitchen, which is close to the pool. And so if you're coming in with wet towels, you don't have far to go with your towels. Um, and then I'm, I go through Who else goes through a lot of kitchen rags? Whose kitchen rags get stinky like in a day? If y'all have a trick, somebody on here is bound to have a trick or a best practice with, with keeping your rags, your kitchen um, dish rags from going stinky and in one day. So we're always running back and forth with our kitchen rags. So just fun stuff. But I'm gonna try to, hey Kaz, cannot wait to have you live tomorrow. We're in my laundry room, Kaz, don't you like that? Everybody that's watching, I want you to tune in at two o'clock central uh, tomorrow because Kaz is the creator of the Be Happy Mask. I cannot wait. It's a yellow mask with a big old smiley face, the typical smiley face, and Cos created that. Um, he is a true believer that one smile and one person can make a difference. So a little shout out for Cos and our show tomorrow at 10. Hey, Johnny, thanks so much for joining. Um, <laughs> get her done, Cos. That's right. Okay. Back to the laundry room. We've, hey, no, you know what? I'm impressed that I've got a couple of guys on here. So Johnny and Kaz, I want to know, when you fold towels, do you fold your towels like your mother taught you? Do you fold them a certain way like your mother taught you? And do you separate them according to whether they're washcloths, bath towels, you know, which bathroom they go in, whatever. Okay, enough about the towels. Ladies, you will appreciate all the uh, different amenities that I made sure to put in this laundry room. I have, and <laughs> I'm a little bit challenged um, in that my, my, I've got my phone plugged in. I just about let my phone go dead, and so I don't have as much flexibility. Um, no, like the hotels do. Cause I don't know if I know, oh, the hotels, it's like just one, time over, right? I triple, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to bore y'all with getting over here and folding towels, but I've got them going, and hopefully I'll get them done tonight since I decided to do a live. Um, okay, back to, I've said that about three times, the laundry room. Plenty of cabinets. Um, I've got, since we do have a pool, 
on one end um, closest to the door out into the hall that then leads to the pool, I have beach towels, sunscreen, all that kind of stuff. I've got some bug spray, ant spray, uh, citronella candles, and then in, I have our medicines because I did say that the, our laundry room is in the middle of the house. It's kind of the central place for all our meds and first aid stuff. So some of my cabinets have that. All my, clean, well, I say all. 95% of my cleaning supplies are in here under this um, sink. I keep a few in the kitchen that I need in the kitchen and I don't want to run back and forth to the laundry. But most of my cleaning supplies are in here. Um, obviously, all my laundry supplies, my detergent, my spray and wash and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Speaking of that, since we um, sold the Oxford house, our second home, and we are bringing all that stuff back to Arkansas, um, first of all, thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm just so blessed to even have the opportunity, so I'm not complaining at all, but we have got enough detergent and downy and fabric softener, like, for days. And so I got it all organized in here in the cabinets yesterday. And then I mentioned that I have craft supplies. I used to paint, Hannah and I both used to paint um, with acrylics on canvas, and so we've got those little bottles of all different colors of paint. I've got that all organized and in containers and in here. And then y'all know I love to chalk paint. And so I have a section for my chalk paint because I don't want it in the garage where the temperature gets to it, you know, it gets too hot, too cold, my paint brushes, all that is organized. And then, because I have such great, wonderful counter space, lots of counter space in here, I also have all my gift wrapping supplies. Um, so it's fabulous. My Just one little door down there, I have my container of my gift bags, uh, my bows, just all those things you need for wrapping gifts. So, try to give y'all a quick tour, okay? Um, there is the door. Y'all see my little sign? It says, the laundry company. Wash, dry, fold, and press. Okay, so coming in the door, um, on my right, I have my sink. Okay, Woo. I'm dealing with this cord. Um, okay, I'm good at right here in a second. Okay, there's my sink. And then, let me see if I can get to the... There we go. Gotta get to the rod. There we go. Okay, so there's a rod above the sink because when I have my lingerie, swimsuits, things like that, that I know need to drip, um, I have that rod put over the sink. Now here's one thing I really wanna show y'all that you will love. And again, if you are building a house and have an opportunity to ask for this, please do it. And I can't take the credit. Um, our, our cabinet maker came up with this idea, and I just think it's brilliant. And I'm going to try to get it over there for y'all to see it. There we go. Okay. So there's cutouts. You see I've got the drawers up here, but he left these cut out. I have one here that's for my clothes, and I have another one there that is for um, towels. Right now it has sheets in it, but... Um, I love that idea that he came up with, those little cutouts. So I've got those two there. I've got my sink here with my rod over it. And then below the sink is where I've got my cleaning supplies. And then I mentioned my drawers um, for all those cleaning rags. And then um, I just have washer and dryer. Mine are top load. I had front load for several years and moved back to top load. And I want to show y'all this photo I took. There it is. Isn't that cool? Um, I took that photo in Clarksdale, Mississippi and had it put on a canvas and I just thought it was perfect for my laundry room. So I had that hanging there. And then over here, oh well, this, my cool husband did this. Um, this is our router. We wanted the router central to the house where we could all have good strong service But it also like not be sitting out somewhere And so we put this little shelf up here and then this has got you know all the electrical stuff in it So it's it's out of the way and then over here Is my extra rod and I always keep um, hey April. What did you love? Hey, Alicia? April, tell me what you love so I can go back and talk about it some more if you need me to. 
Um, <clears throat> here is my extra rod, and I keep plenty of uh, hangers there. We hang a lot of stuff. I just think it takes better care of your clothes. I kind of wish I had a clothesline out back, and I may add one at some point. And then extra storage there. And, um, oh, the picture. <laughs> okay. Okay. April, I have several um, of those pictures. And I have different um, views and perspectives of, of the laundry hanging. Oh, thank you, April. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite favorites. Okay. Y'all, getting to have a refrigerator in the laundry room is wonderful um, i had one in the garage our second refrigerator in the garage for years which is fine but having it indoors is fabulous so this is my second refrigerator and then come back this is where we started and so i don't have y'all been able to tell see all my um counter space over there I've got all that counter space on that side, and then I also have all the counter space on this side. Hello. There we go. Where my sink is. And then I'll try to get another shot of my rod. There's my rod above my sink. So, plenty of counter space for folding my towels, for doing um, gift wraps, gift wrapping. Um, getting out my paint products, any of those things like that that I need. Plenty of storage in my cabinets. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I haven't told y'all. And I've got more, plenty of drawers. I mentioned the drawers with um, my my cleaning rags, but are you know those junk drawers where you have um, the measuring tape and the glue gun and the Gorilla Glue and the furniture movers and extra screws and or not furniture movers the felt pads little things just stuff um those are in here and so it's all organized and i've got everything just about like i want it <laughs> i mentioned that i had reorganized it about six times but i think i've just about got it right so anyway that is my laundry room um Thank you all so much. Hey, Adora, thank you so much for joining. Um, if y'all have any questions about um, the design, it's granite countertops, stainless sink, and I do have the pull-out, you know, nozzle. I didn't mention that. Let's see if I can show y'all. Yeah, it um, pulls out. So that's convenient. Um, Try to think of all the things that I knew I would want when I got to have my dream, dream laundry room. So that's it. I have got to get back to folding these towels and then have my husband say, now what were you doing in the laundry room? Although he's about learned, just don't ask. He knows I'm crazy and I'm just gonna go do what I wanna do. I'll just tell him don't interrupt me. So um, thank you all so much for watching. I am so, so incredibly excited about this new group home base. So please stay engaged and involved in anything that you want to share or would like to see shared as far as content. Um, please let me know. I am so looking forward to having guests join me. Um, I'm going to have a guest uh, talk about design. I'm going to have a guest talk about organizing. Um, I will do a lot of, y'all know how much I chalk paint. I will do several of the chalk painting demos. But I'll probably have some guests join me to do chalk painting. Um, gosh, it just, there's so much we can do in a group called Home Base. And if you didn't get a chance to watch my introductory video, go back and do that because um, this group is, is just very extremely special to me. And there's a reason that it's called Home Base. Um, and it's, it's completely dedicated to, to my niece who's no longer with us here. And so it just has that extra special um, touch and feel and reasoning and passion behind it for me. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate um, the comments and the love and y'all stay tuned. All right, have a great night. See you soon.